All right, guys, I'm going to run that drill again, micro versus full size, because we saw when I went with the full size, I had a very bad shot. I mean, it was a hit, but up up there, that's a very bad shot for me. And what that shows you is what you're going to be like cold when a real gunfight happens and you're surprised all of a sudden. It ain't going to be static and it ain't going to be like you think it's going to be. All right. So, but because I think that skews the results, you know, that's very atypical for me. I'm going to do the draw again. This time I'm going to alternate each time. This time going with the Ruger Max 9 the first time. Target's over here this time doing a POV kind of bad guy POV. Uh, I'm going to do the Max 9 first, and then I'm going to go full size on the right target after that. Uh, doing a Mozambique failure drill, but while moving, all of a sudden I'm in a gunfight and I'm moving away. <laughs> Boom, 2A zone right by the orange, and headshot perfectly centered. Tools to holster, use code Dan the Wolfman to get... You know, good, I think, 10 or 15%. I think it's 15% off, something like that. All right. Next guy. Duty rig style. Full size. All right, there we go. 2A zone, a little higher, and headshot perfect there. I'll show you guys. So that last time there, this is the full size target. I got one, two, and three. So that's perfect there. And you can see it's probably a little faster, heavier weight, 26 ounces versus 18 and a half for recoil management. I think it's these two on the Max 9 that time and that dead setter T-Box style headshot right there. So is it enough to matter for a civilian three to five yards? Maybe not. Now when you go seven, yards and out or an extreme outlier 15 to 25 yards will that make a difference i'm sure it will